As we share more personal information online than ever before, the risk of being scammed has dramatically increased. But fear not, there are some high-tech gadgets available to give you peace of mind in both the cyber world as well as at home. Today, tech expert Trevor Long joins us now from his own high-tech fortress, Trev. Trev, good morning. Trev, just changed your name. Morning. Trev. Uh, what options are there to keep your physical home secure? Yeah, I think it's it's never more important. And so you can you can get cameras now for just a couple hundred dollars, a fully wireless camera that simply sits on the wall and connects to your Wi-Fi network, but then records motion, records what it sees, and you can see all that on your on your smartphone if you like. And then of course there's the the wired camera solutions that connect to a box like this. This one's from Uniden. You can see I've got eight or nine cameras here all wired in. Ooh. I can see those at all times, but most importantly again. I can see those on my smartphone. So you can just spend a few dollars and you can get your home nicely and safely protected. OK, we hear of cyber attacks happening around the world as well as here at Channel 9. Can this happen on your own home computers? Absolutely. It, it kind of feels like we've, we've forgotten that viruses exist. And, and I guess the bigger problem now is malware and viruses and ransomware, which is why you've got to have internet security. There's four big brands doing internet security. Norton, Kaspersky, Trend Micro, McAfee. You know, $100 odd should get you great protection. We've got a couple here that are $60 or $70. That will give you protection on your computer and likely on other devices as well. And that's going to mean that you're protected while you're on your computer. None of those threats coming in and you won't be scammed as well. So will that protect someone like Carl from clicking on a dodgy link? Spot on. And, and that's the critical thing here is the biggest risk is actually what you're clicking on and where you're going. And that applies not just on your computer, but also on your mobile phone. So you can get those same internet security software programs on mobile phones as well for about 30 bucks. Um, and that will protect you from clicking on links and, and those kind of activities that are really the risk. Oh, and Carl's shouting out at me about saying that he's clicking on dodgy links. Uh, moving on, mobile phones have become a huge part of our life. Do we need protection on those too? Yeah, we do. And I think that's that's my message is don't forget your mobile phone. Those software packages for 30 odd dollars are great. But the other one there, Soph, is on your mobile phone, you can run software that will actually protect your identity as well. So I know of one called Trend Micro ID Security. What it does, free app, you download it and you put in things like your passwords, your email address, your credit card details, and it will search the dark web where criminals are for your information and help you protect yourself so you can change your bank card details, change your password. So having that extra level of protection over your identity is about as important as the rest of your security in your physical home or on your computer. Well, and that's free, right? Yeah, that's free. You can pay a little bit more to get more things like your passport protected, but a simple free search and get email updates every week is a great way to protect your identity. Nice. Good to know. So Thanks, if Jeff. I'm interested to know uh, from your perspective, um, obviously <laughs> you've got a, a very um, handsome boyfriend at home, Ryan, uh, what would be a dodgy link that he would click on in your mind? Well, he mm, yeah, keeps on getting advertisements for... OK, that's enough. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I didn't realize. I, I just thought know. it was. I just thought it was funny thing to raise. I didn't realize it was going to be a relationship breaker. Uh. <laughs> anyway. But you know those emails you get, and it's like, oh, congratulations, you've won a million bucks. And then there's always one idiot in the room who clicks on it, and then before you know it, Channel Nine's been brought down by a cyber attack. Oh, so that's how it happened. Well, Sophie's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Ray Ray. Good what morning. a tosser. Oh. Okay, and on that wonderful note. <laughs>